first experience of uh, seeing Sadhguru. That was uh, on a, a flight to uh, Davos, and uh, uh, he was sitting uh, a few uh, seats ahead of uh, me. And uh, I was struck. What came to my mind was, uh, who is this mystic? That was that year, 2006, if I remember. Um, he spoke of something very interesting. Uh, he spoke of uh, something which he called inclusive economics. Inclusive economics uh, wasn't a phrase anybody used six years back. Inclusive development, inclusiveness, we're talking of in the last three years or so. But six years back when uh, this was uh, postulated by uh, Sadhguru, he also went on to explain that uh, this is uh, what holistic development is all about and that all the tools required for that are in place. But I want you to... Uh, Start with this, because uh, it's a positive note, uh, Sadhguru. Okay. <laughs> See, the, because we're talking about business, the purpose of business or the purpose or the goals of big business is to expand. You can expand in two different ways. One is by conquest, another is by embrace. I can conquer you or I can embrace you, both ways you will become mine. If I embrace you, you will become mine willingly and I will have better use of you in every possible way. I'm talking business, not… this not my personal thing <laughs> But if I conquer you, I will still have you, but I have to sit on top of your head and make you do things and you will do everything possible to make my life miserable. <laughs> yes or no? True. Absolutely. So, people are trying to conquer and their businesses and their activity is doing everything possible to make them miserable and you can see it on their faces. Successful people are showing miserable faces, <laughs> which is a wrong message to send to the world, particularly to the youth. If you send a message that success is misery, you're destroying humanity. Success is the sweetest thing that can happen to a human being, but now you take the most successful ten thousand people on the planet, you will see they are an epitome of tension and anxiety and misery. You are sending a completely wrong message. This you can see took such a bad turn in United States of America in the sixties. The so-called corporates <coughs> brutally wanting to grow, conquer the world, set such an image of themselves. The youth thought it's better to sit in the street corner and smoke pot and it's a better way to live, at least you're happy, you're not causing any damage to anybody. This is a horrible way to exist. So it's extremely important that successful people send a clear message, success is a beautiful thing. It is not a suffering, it is not a miserable thing to do in your life. If this has to happen, your expansion has to happen by embrace, not by conquest. So inclusion, is the… is what you're trying to do, but you're trying to include by conquest because every business wants to expand. I think somewhere because of the way today the financial markets and whatever is happening, lot of businesses have lost this sense that what they want is expansion. They're only looking at their quarterly balance sheets, which is not allowing them to expand, it's too short term for expansion. Very big visionary businesses, I'm sure uh, ICICI Bank has looked at it this way, otherwise it wouldn't be what it is today. People are looking at expansion. Those who are really looking for expansion, they're not looking at what is somebody's opinion every quarter. You don't care what somebody thinks about you. People think all kinds of things about me in the last thirty years. But in the last four years, just to take last four years as a segment, in the last four years we have expanded over twenty times over. We multiply, not expand. This is because of a huge embrace, not because of conquest. When you have expanded by embrace, you don't become miserable with expansion, you become joyful and wonderful with expansion <laughs> Thank you. Um, I want to uh, maybe stay on Davos for one more uh, maybe round before we move on. Uh, you have seen Davos from 2006 till after uh, the crash of 2008. And uh, just before we came here, we were uh, having a short chat and you said, uh, you addressed uh, depression <laughs> in the post-2008 uh, uh, period. And of course, you have seen the euphoria of the preceding years. Uh, euphoria to depression, 
um, how do how do how do these mood swings happen, and uh, uh, how does one balance out uh, your one's views, as it were? I think one reason is a uh, lot of people have not strived for their success. They are successful by chance. That's why they're euphoric and depressed. If they had crafted their success, you would know the mechanics of success. It doesn't matter what's happening today, you know where you're going anyway. Nobody can take that away from you. So people who do not know the mechanics of what they're doing, the fundamentals of what they're doing, by chance because of situational help, somebody becomes successful, he is euphoric, he thinks he's hit… They're hitting a lottery, they're not successful. <laughs> hitting a lottery is not success, it's just chance. So because of that you see too much of these swings, and anyway, as I was telling you, they asked me to handle this session called uh, Recession and Depression. <laughs> it was 2008, just then uh, recession had moved into the European and American market. All these billionaires were carrying long faces, so I am supposed to spread it a little bit <laughs> Spread a smile, that is. <laughs> so I said, recession is bad enough. Do you need depression on top of it? You always dreamed, you want to walk the beach, you want to swim, you want to go play golf. Okay, this is the time, less work, this is not the end of the world. And above all, the way we have structured our economic process in the planet is such that if we fail, we will be depressed. If we succeed, we will be damned. I said, I prefer that you're depressed. <laughs> we… because our economy is all about more, not about all. I think the business leaders, people who have reached a certain level of success, should shift their attention from more to all. All would naturally be inclus inclusiveness. More is taking, all is an embrace <laughs>